following the collaborative framework between public procurement and disposal of public assets authority and civil society organizations PPDA through its strategic initiative on stakeholder engagement has strengthened its journey to provide oversight on government assets PPDA as an entity or as an organization was put to provide oversight to ensure that the procurement processes are handled in a transparent, fair, competitive, non-discriminatory, and rivers very formal. We have to monitor. We have also to build the capacity of these procuring entities. But more especially for this purpose, we must provide a monitoring function. The plan to ensure effective contract implementation and improved service delivery was boosted by handing over 96 mobile phones to 12 partner civil society organizations, each taking eight phones to facilitate them in pursuit of their duties. We are getting of our phones from PPD. We are basically in our region, we are monitoring public procurement. We are looking at schools, hospitals, what are projects? The status is that there are some projects, of course, where we've had projects not being completed. Now, this digital tool is going to be easier for the monitors to actually fill because these phones are going to be given also to the youth. We have youth monitors. Of course, a youth monitor can easily use the digital method. The mobile phones, which have a mobile app with a web-based dashboard, can be used offline by community monitors, which makes it ideal for places with poor network connectivity to easier and faster timely feedback to PPDA in regard to progress. This system has been put on smartphones. It can also work where the internet is not uh, there's no connectivity of internet and it provides also real time reporting uh, we have uh, works which have been done shortly civil society organization based in those regions there will be timely reporting and timely intervention by ppda According to PPDA, distribution of mobile phones to civil society organizations will not only aid in the monitoring of government assets, but also help in the fight against the swindling of government funds. Joshua Kagoro, UBC News.